Have you been wondering how to do cross mode on the Skybridge Plus? A common problem many hams run into is only being able to talk to hams with their same radio voice mode. But with the Skybridge Plus hotspot, that's not a problem. Today we're going to talk about setting up your Skybridge Plus for cross mode. This way you'll be able to use your DMR radio to talk to hams on YSF. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to set up your hotspot. So by uh, typing that IP address into your browser, you should end up at this screen right here, your dashboard. So if you click on configuration, and if it gives you a login prompt, it's just uh, pi dash star for the username and raspberry for the password. From there, you're going to want to turn on this DMR to YSF. And you're going to want to make sure that down here under DMR configuration, scroll all the way up and set it to DMR gateway. Then hit apply changes. Now if you scroll down, you'll notice that now it added an extra field called Yesu System Fusion Configuration. And right here, this setting doesn't apply to us because we're not using an FT70D radio. Um, and this right here, the YSF startup post, it's just the reflector it initially connects to. We just set that to an arbitrary one. We'll just choose Parrot. And then hit Apply Changes. And while that's getting set up, we'll go to the CPS software for your radio. And the first thing you're going to want to do is add talk groups. Now, with a DMR radio, the hotspot's going to be doing the translation to connect you to the YSF reflectors. So you're going to need to add a prefix that starts with a 7. Um, so you can actually find a list of these if you go to, um, there's a, a PyStar site, if you go to, uh, YSF slash FCS tools, and you look at the YSF reflector list, it'll give you a list here, and on this far right column, they've already added the prefix for you, so you can just copy and paste. So I've chosen Parrot, America Link, and World Link, just for examples. So once those talk groups are made, and they're all set to a group call, Go to channel, and at the end, you're going to want to add a channel that has that talk group set. So you would scroll down, and there's YSF Parrot. And name it something significant. And do that for all of the YSF specific channels. And of course, you're going to want to make a separate zone for them. I just call it YSF. And those channels are in that zone. Okay, so now you're ready to write this to your radio. First you plug in the USB end. Then you select your COM port, which for me is COM3. And then you click write to radio. And I've already written a contact list, so I'm going to skip that part. And after it's done writing, unplug the programming cable. And now let's go to our dashboard page. Now back on the SkyBridge, everything's configured the way it needs to be. So now we're going to go to the dashboard to monitor what's going on. And notice how the uh, YSF network appears here and what your DMR master is set for. Now.
I'm going to test with the Parrot. This is Alpha Echo Zero Lima India testing YSF Parrot. And notice how the network changed to Parrot. Echo Zero Lima India testing YSF Parrot. And the other talk groups are similar, but that'll actually key you into the talk group and you'll hear traffic. But yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. In that short process, we took the Skybridge Plus and set it so our AnyTone DMR HT can talk to a YSF radio. Again, you can do this between DMR, YSF, and XDN and other cross modes. So even if you don't have a DMR radio, this hotspot is still a great option for you. To order a Skybridge Plus today, click the link below. Thanks for watching and 7.3.